So, if on your phone you want to get photos like this, portraits like this, night shots like this, and instead of this, you want to get this and instead of this you want to get this then this video is for you so uh, most often question i get is how do you set up gcam on your phone well it's actually really really simple even though there's a lot of information online that make it make it complicated it's not it's simple as hell all you need is two files okay uh, I have those files downloaded here and I will show them to you now So this is a, this is all you need. I will put links or upload them uh, In description of this video, but basically yeah, all you need is gcam file and you need is a Config file so gcam What is a gcam? Well, the simple answer is it's the uh, camera application uh, that uh, that is ripped from uh, pixel phones and it is ported to all the other phones uh, what are the requirements well uh, basically you need a phone with snapdragon so if you have samsung s23 series or s24 ultra this is for you okay installation is uh, very 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 simple so as you can see i'm in my download folder I just need to install the app. The app is uh, 400 megabytes, so it will take a few seconds to install it. Once you install it, uh, just open it give it all the permissions need okay then tap on the icon on the bottom uh, on the top right go to quick settings and allow it permission to access all files that's it for the installation of camera so go back kill the app open it again that's it now go back to your file manager, go to downloads, and you can see you have a new folder that says uh, AGC 9.2. Now take your uh, config file, move it into it, and you will have configs folder in it, and just paste it there. Get out, open again a camera app, Go to the top right corner, go to load config, and you'll have it here. Just mark it, it so that it's green, and go to load. Okay, you have a few options here, just click done. That's it. Okay, so, now, on the top right, you have a few profiles. You have uh, low dynamic range profiles, and uh high dynamic range profiles uh, and you also have astro profile and you have sport profile so 90 percent of your fo uh, photos will be taken with balanced ldr so just leave it at that if you need a bit more uh, uh high light handling while you're shooting with uh, balanced ldr just switch to the night shift and it, you will get all the hdr you need uh, at low light, so when you want to use a uh, night mode, just switch to Astro. And uh, if you want to, I don't know, shoot your kids running around or something like that, just go to sports mode. That's it. That's all you need. As you can see, you have all camera lenses here. So you have a, a 1x, 0.6x, uh, 3x and 10x lens. Uh, when you click on it, it will switch to them 
and all lenses will work. That's it. That's all you need for a G cam. So, you point it, you shoot it, you get photo. Uh, it's not a perfect app, of course, it's a port. So, uh, let's say uh, when you turn it like this, then you can see it kind of overlaps with digital zoom options, but all you need to do is turn it around and yeah. Uh, other thing you can do is to make a routine on your phone so when you go into Gcam that it disables uh, auto screen rotations so it will always be like this and then you can switch on it. Uh, I've been using Gcam for years and it's never been so simple to install it like now. So if you have any phone that supports uh, a Snapdragon CPU, uh, most of Xiaomi's, uh, Samsung S23 line, most of actually all the phones that are not in MediaTek or Exynos, uh, you'll be good for it. You, you can also get this one and install it on Google Pixel. You'll get some additional features and stuff. Uh, not everything works, of course. So uh, portrait mode will, will work on people. Night Sight, of course, works. Panorama works. Uh, Photosphere, I haven't tried. Probably. No, it crashes. So yeah, that's it. Uh, enjoy your Gcam.